nuclear power, the kind of nuclear power that we have now is called second generation nuclear power. Um, it's, um, it's a comparable in cost to coal. Um, it, once you have the nuclear power plant, then the fuel is very inexpensive. So nuclear power is quite um, inexpensive. But it's difficult in the United States to get a nuclear power plant built. And it takes so many years that it drives the cost up. So now in England, they've realized that they will need to have nuclear power in the future. So they've put a limit. Once a government commission decides on where the power plants will be built, the public will have one year to object to this and possibly get some changes. But they can't drag it out six or seven years the way it happens in the United States because that drives up the price uh, tremendously. And there's also the possibility for fourth generation nuclear power. That's a technology which allows you to burn all of the nuclear fuel. Presently, nuclear power plants burn less than 1% of the energy in the nuclear fuel. Fourth generation nuclear power allows the neutrons to move faster so it can burn all of the fuel. And furthermore, it can burn nuclear waste. So it can solve the nuclear waste problem. And the United States is still the technology leader in fourth generation nuclear power. In 1994, Argonne National Laboratory, now called Idaho National Laboratory, was ready to build a fourth generation nuclear power plant. But the Clinton-Gore administration canceled uh, that research because of the anti-nuclear um, sentiments in the Democratic Party. Well, well, we are still have the best expertise in that technology and we should develop it because it's something that we could also sell to China and India because they're going to need nuclear power. They don't, are not going to be able to get all of their energy from the sun and from the wind. The most effective one is energy efficiency. We waste a lot of our energy. We can get vehicles that get more miles per gallon. There, there are many ways to improve energy efficiency. In fact, uh, some states are twice as efficient as other states just because it, fossil fuels were so cheap we just didn't pay attention to how effectively we were using them. But in addition, there are renewable energy, solar energy, wind energy. And I think that nuclear power has to be part of the um, solution because at this time it's the only alternative to coal for baseload electrical power. And we do now have the technology for much safer and more efficient nuclear power as compared to the old versions that were used in the past several decades.